the only fish ever known to wear a monk's habit, the sea monk, was first noticed in 1546 off the eastern coast of the Danish island of Zealand, having stranded itself during a crisis of faith. In Guillaume de Bartas's epic poem of 1578, sea monks are revealed to subdivide into mitered bishops and cowled friars. Sea bishops, of course, don't live in captivity because they undergo ritual fasting and die after three days. This one made the sign of the cross when its captors released it into the sea in 1531. In our current century, as we all know, sea monks, friars, and bishops have remained alive in special tanks via the mesmeric therapies of animal magnetism, allowing their caretakers to beseech absolution. Though the Tribunal of the Holy Office of the Inquisition has raised moral questions, maritime law and marine biology remain neutral. Though to date, marine biology doesn't acknowledge the holiness of any merman. Here's the button for feeding the sea monk. You're feeding him for a second time today. You're making him strong. I don't know what you're talking about. Nor do you know what you're dealing with. You're an amateur. It takes years to control him. He'll drain you, use you till you waste away. 